Thank you for using Drive Savers for your data recovery needs. In this video, I'm going to show you how to restore and navigate through a file type recovery. In an earlier video, I showed you how to copy the data from your external drive to your computer, so you should have a folder on your desktop with your job number on it. If we open that folder, inside there will be a folder called File Type Recovery. Inside File Type Recovery, they will be organized in categories. Now a file type recovery is when we're unable to recover the structure of your drive, so we don't have the original folder names and file names. This recovery goes through and finds files by their type, and we put them into categoried folders by what kind of file they are. A file type recovery is pretty much the same for a Macintosh recovery or a Windows recovery, so these instructions will apply to both platforms. Each category will have the different file types that are associated with that category in them. And then depending on the file, we've been able to organize them in some cases. For example, MP3s are organized with their album names and artist names, just like they are in your iTunes, due to metadata tags that are in the files. Other files, such as document files for Office, Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, these are organized by their last save date. So you can go to the year, the month, and then the file name has the date and time of when that file was saved. Graphical files, which are all your pictures, contain date stamps in the file themselves with the date they were captured, which allows us to organize them by the date they were taken. Some pictures on your computer, however, do not have these tags in them, and they end up in this folder called unknown date. And we sort them by their pixel size between large, medium, and small. Inside the date folder, you will find them organized by month, and then the file names which have the date and time of that picture. Now an easy way to view these pictures is to just click on the first one and hit the space bar on your computer if you're on a Macintosh computer. This launches Quick View. You can then use the arrow keys on your keyboard to scroll through the various pictures to see what they look like. If you hit your spacebar, it closes back on the file you were just looking at. This process will work with just about every file in the file type on the computer. On a Windows computer, you don't have the ability to use Quick View like you do on a Mac, but you do have the ability to use Large Icon View so when viewing pictures, large icon view will show you the pictures in a much easier format to look at. On both Mac and Windows, you can do a contextual search. So navigate to the folder of the file that you're looking for, type in a phrase that you would be looking to find in a file, and it will bring up a narrowed down list of the documents that meet that criteria. This works on both Mac and Windows, as they both have a search bar in the top right corner of the window. Once you've located the files that you're interested in, you can just copy them to your computer. For assistance in that, you can refer to our video for restoring your structured recovery, and it will show you how to line up your windows and drag and drop your files. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it's been helpful. If you still have some questions, you can visit our wiki page at wiki.drivesaversdatarecovery.com. On there, you'll find more information about restoring data to your computer. And if you still have some questions, please give us a call at 800-609-2301.